Now we know how to use Sokotoa to solve right triangles. But what do we do when we want to solve a non-right triangle, like the ones on either side of me? We have to use a new formula that's called sine law. Let's review the rules for labeling triangles. In triangles, a lowercase letter is used to designate a side, and a capital letter is used to designate an angle. Furthermore, usually, if you are calling this angle A, then this opposite side will be lowercase a. The angle and its opposite side will share the same letter. So if I want to label this angle B, that means this would be side B. We will use this convention very often when we apply sine law and cosine law. The formula for sine law looks like this. A and B are both sides. Sine A and sine B are both angles. Notice that only sine is involved. You never use the cos button or the tan button when you use sine law. Remember that your calculator has to be in degree mode whenever you do trigonometry. To get this type of calculator in degree mode, you press the mode button and 4. In example 1, we want to know the length of this side. Applying our rules for labeling triangles, we can choose to call this angle A, which means that this must be side A. And we can call this angle B, which means this can be side B. That means we can fill in our sine law formula like this. A over sine A is equal to B over sine B. The next thing to do is to find the values of sine A and sine B in our calculator. The sine of 113 degrees is equal to 0 0.9205. The sine of 31 degrees is equal to 0 0.5150. Our formula can be rewritten like this. 12 over 0 0.9205 is equal to B over 0 0.5150. Cross multiplying, we get 12 times 0 0.5150 is equal to 0.9205b. 12 times the sine of 31 is equal to 6.1805. This gets replaced by 6.1805 in our formula. Since our variable b is being multiplied by 0.9205, we divide both sides by 0 0.9205 in order to cancel it out. 6.1805 divided by the sine of 113 degrees is equal to 6.7142. These two numbers cancel out and our B is equal to 6.7142. 6.7142, and we have found the length of our missing side B. In example two, we want to know the measure of this angle theta. Applying our rules for labeling our triangles, let's call this angle A. That means this is side A. If we call this angle B, this must be side B and we fill our, in our formula like this. 18 over sine of unknown theta is equal to 17 over sine of 62 degrees. The sine of 62 degrees is equal to 0 0.8829. So we can rewrite our formula, 18 over sine of theta is equal to 17 over 0 0.8829. Cross multiplying, 18 times 0 
0.29 is equal to 17 times sine theta. 18 times the sine of 62 is equal to 15.8931. Therefore, 15.8931 is equal to 17 sine theta. We can divide both sides of this equation by 17. And this will allow us to cancel our 17s. 15.8931 divided by 17 is equal to 0 0.9349. 0 0.9349 is equal to sine of theta. The second sine of 0 0.9349 is equal to 69.2097 degrees. And now we know that theta is equal to 69.2097 degrees. Now that you know how to use sine law, you will practice with an exercise sheet like this one. There are eight examples on the exercise sheet. Half of the questions have an unknown side. Half of them have an unknown angle. You will use example one as a model to do half of the questions on this sheet, and you will use example two as a model to do the rest.